I was reading a bed in, uh, I was reading a book in bed the other night when I when I heard it. You know, look left, look. And of course, you can't see the thing until it hits the light. You know, you know, Miller moth season. It's back, and we can expect more of them than usual this year. Miller moths actually do this year long dance across Colorado in the winter months and early spring. They're out on the eastern plains. They're caterpillars we're called army cutworms and they're eating through any crops they can find. Then they cocoon underground and in late spring they pop out in Miller moth form. and They head west. They post up here around Denver May and June. Then they do summer up in the high country eating flowers. Then in the fall it's back out to the eastern plains and they begin the life cycle again by laying new eggs. A next viewer from the Plains reached out to us this week, curious about the moth outlook for the year, because you can forecast this. It's all predicated on weather. And if the weather is uh, supportive of, of these Miller moths, then we'll see really good numbers, um, especially in the spring. So during the spring, if we have dry or sometimes wet weather, but not too cold, we'll see really ample numbers of Miller moths being very successful. But if we see really hard freezes in um, early spring, then generally we'll see lower Miller moth numbers. I think with the, the mild spring and winter that we've had, I think we will see, there's a very good chance we'll see um, plenty of Miller moths this year. So, so that's, that's bad news for anybody who's got one of those newfangled electric lights at their house. Why is it exactly that Miller moths are so fixated on our lights? Flying, they follow using the moon as basically their compass. And so when there are additional lights that really distract them, so they get confused and they see, you've, everyone's seen um, a moth flying around a porch light. And they are basically trying to organize in their mind from a, like, from a compass perspective, like this is my, this is my directional um, North Star, if you will. And I'm going to keep going towards the North Star, but I'm going to keep hitting the North Star. You, you fool, that's not the North Star. That's my, that's my book light. Uh, the best way to keep them out of your house, of course, is just to turn off as many lights as possible. That way they'll go to your neighbors instead. Uh, Miller moths may annoy us, but they are delicious to birds and to bears up in the high country. So in the end, they're actually, they're pretty good for our ecosystem.